What is up, Planet? It is The Priest, and I'm back with another Pick A Card reading. In today's Pick A Card reading, we're going to be looking at a very simple question that my higher self has been igniting me to ask for you guys, and that is, why am I going through what I'm going through? We're going to be looking at career, love, and spiritual growth in particular. So when you're choosing your deck, just have that question in mind. Why am I going through this? If you guys are new to my channel, welcome to the planet where we embrace love, happiness, freedom, and truth. Shout out to all my new subscribers, to my Patreon planet that I acknowledge in my description box below. Uh, I just posted a general reading in my Patreons to support uh, the planet for Patreons. For more information on webinars, readings, anything else that I have going on, please feel free to check the description box below. Or you can also follow me on Instagram at the Tarot Priest or visit my website, thetarotpriest.com, where you can find pretty much every single thing that you're looking for. All right, I'm super excited to get in this reading. Literally, this was on the fly. My higher self was like, look, Tarot Priest, people are going through a lot and some of them just don't really know why they're going through what they're going through. So I feel like it's very important for us to understand and also note that what I'm picking up is everything that you're going through is connected. So whether it's in love, career, or spiritual growth, it will be connected. All right, so here's a close-up view of the three decks that I have. I have deck number one, deck number two, and deck number three. Again, the question, why am I going through this? Why am I going through this? All right, let's hop into today's reading and see why you're going through this in love, career, and spirituality. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading, and why am I going through this? All right, we're gonna look at this overall energy and I'm also gonna be clarifying by shuffling on camera just to give you a little bit more insight. Why are you going through this in general? Let's look at what we have. Six of Pentacles, this is generosity. You're also learning reciprocation, reciprocity. I feel like it's reciprocity. Reciprocation, you're learning that. You're learning how to break karmic cycles. Now, speaking of karmic cycles, I'm going to be focusing on this in my webinar for May. If it's past May, you could probably still find it on my website streaming because it's very important that you understand how karmic connections and karmic cycles and energy affects your entire life. Karma, the things that we do not deal with that eventually catch up to us. That's my best definition of what karmic is. So you're learning how to break cycles, but you're also, what I'm hearing for you, deck number one, is learning how to complete what you started. That's something too that's coming up is that you're learning how to complete what you've started. And there's also something that's important to note is that you're going through a transition. You're going through a transformation. The caterpillar becomes the butterfly with the world card. Some of you are questioning things that you want to let go of and even moving. I feel like moving and uh, traveling or relocation is something too that your spirit is trying to get you to do. Four of Wands, a lot of what you're going through is to bring harmony back into your life. It's been a while since you've since things have been in harm in, in a harmonious energy and so spirit is trying to negate and get rid of the things that are in your life that are blocking you from this unity and harmony okay spirit is trying to get you back to a place of love back to um, not following in those same cycles i'm really strongly feeling for you deck number one that it is to break karmic cycles breaking the things that are just kind of on a loop some of this is subconscious. I don't think you guys are very uh, much aware of this, but it is going to take bravery. So it's like there are moments in your life that you're going through and you're at the very end of the, the, the mountain, right? A lot of you have overcome a lot of things, but what I'm hearing is that there are bigger mountains to climb. So it is safe to say that this mountain has been completed so that you can move forward. I'm really strongly feeling like you guys are being encouraged to move forward and to find the bravery and find the courage to take the leap of faith. There's a lot of love that is waiting for you. There's a lot of harmony. Let's see what's going on in love for you. Engagement. This could be the one in reverse. Some of you are having trouble in love with picking the right one. 
There's a lot going on here, okay? Some of you could be engaged, some of you. Now, I know if you're like, mm, that's not me, totally fine. There are three different energies that I'm picking up in love. Some of you are in a relationship. Some of you are in a relationship, but questioning if this is the right one. So it's causing a lack of dis, it's causing discord and a lack of unity in your relationship. And then some of you are not in a relationship and have been dealing with someone on and off. There's a past life relationship here. And then there's some of you who are engaged. All right. And that is the people that are in the relationship. Okay, cool. Now we've narrowed it down to two people. So now that I've been able to do that, the, those of you who are single, your bravery and your courage to move forward is going to bring justice in your love life. So a lot of the things you've been experienced, letting people go that you really loved was to get you in a place of discovering more unity and even some of you i'm feeling strongly there's marriage some of you have been together for some time and now you're like okay now what is this not the one there's a lot of questioning going on and that's good it's healthy to question it but never to stay in a place of fear when you're questioning it some of you are just also getting cold feet or have been together in a relationship for a while and you're just like I don't know if this is the one because time is getting close and things are really picking up. Again, remember, we're all going through a huge spiritual awakening right now. And so the reason why you're going through this too is for you to find, I'm hearing if you're in a relationship, to find certainty in knowing that this is the one. You should know that this is the one. And if you do not know, then the chances are maybe you're right about it not being the one. That's the scary part because there's going to be some acceptance of truth that's necessary for you. So a lot of the things that you're going through are breaking the cycle so that you can reap something new in your life, so that you can have something new. In fact, new seems to be, yeah, rebuild. A lot of you are rebuilding, okay? Because what you built on, and I've been saying this a lot, it was not on a solid foundation, including your love life and relationship, including your money, your career, some of you are working entirely too hard and receiving a little bit pay, a little pay. And that is not where your spirit desires to be. So it is also questioning your certainty with your career. Is this something that you're gonna wanna do for the rest of your life? Is this someone that you wanna be with for the rest of your life? Are you ready to rebuild this time, not on a place of fear, but out of love? and belief, believing that you can succeed. Are you gonna give yourself a chance to rebuild? Some of you I'm hearing, there's fears of having to start all over. I totally get it, but it wasn't until I released that fear that I was able to become even the tarot priest, all right? I had to release that fear of starting all over because I have, some of you have poured in years into relationships, years into careers, years into your spiritual growth. And so if you're wondering why you're stuck or if you're wondering what now, the question is now it's time to rebuild. And this time around, believe and succeed by believing in having more, believing that you can achieve more and not getting complacent and comfortable in where you're at in life. There are levels of euphoria and I promise you guys, there is so much more to experience and discover, but you've gotta give yourself a fair chance and some of you may have to start over to do that. In fact, that fear of starting all over is going to make starting over harder in the future. For instance, if you left what you needed to leave now behind, you can just simply rebuild right now in 2020. But for some of you who are afraid to start all over, that fear can take you all the way to 2030. Yes, that's a cycle. That's what we're learning. It's, it's in cycles, it's in phases. And that you will look back and possibly regret by saying, I wish I shoulda, I shoulda just, you know what I'm saying? I should, and that's why we follow our intuition because we don't wanna regret it later. Okay, simply love, all right? Real quickly, I wanna get into a couple more tarot. All right, messages for deck number one and why are they going through what they're going through? Why? Manifesting. The magician, one, it's a new beginning for you guys. It's supposed to be new. That's why we have 21. The cycle has already happened, but it's like the cycle took off, but you can still stop it. It just started. 
And that's what spirit is saying. You can still stop the cycle. It is not too late. Nothing is ever set in stone. So this is for the purpose of manifesting. What are they manifesting, spirit? Deck one, what are they manifesting? There was seven of wands at the bottom. Bravery. Some of you are just not brave enough to do this. You're afraid of what will happen. The fears. Man, this is going to be an in-depth reading. So stay tuned because I really want to give you guys these messages. All right. So this bravery is what you're waiting for. Brave enough to walk away. Brave enough to know that when you break the cycle, a new one will be better. It's the fear of unknown. What will happen after I take the leap of faith? But I'm saying to you, as I've been saying in my webinar, Soul Journey series, that the only way to face a fear is to face it. That's it. There's no way to get rid of it. There's no way to achieve what you really want if there's a fear in the way, because you're going to have to go through the fear to obtain the desires of your heart. Okay. We have Knight of Wands. Some of you have been putting others and other things before yourself. Okay, so why you're going through this is because you've lost yourself, but most importantly, you're going through it to, to receive the nine of cups. Spirit is saying, listen, you are not even content with where you are. Allow me to come in, trust that I can guide you. And yes, it is scary to go through the unknown, but understand that I am the light that guides you. Okay, this is all about having more euphoria and experiencing life on a higher level. What about career? rest, reconsider, do not make any decisions right now until you learn more about yourself, learn more about what you desire. Okay. And not what you have to do or what you think you have to do. All right. Take some time. Four out of 10. I've been saying this a lot. Four out of 10. Imagine if someone ranked something four out of 10, probably not going to eat there, right? It's not satisfactory. And that's what you're obtaining. The nine out of the nine out of 10. We have the four out of 10 and the nine of, so we have the four of cups and the nine of cups, four out of 10, nine out of 10. Obviously nine out of 10 is much more contentment. So spirit is like, give up the four cups to receive the nine. Okay. So this is a very, very beautiful story and situation, even with your career, also with your love life and spiritually, let's see what you're going through. All right. 35 past life activation. Let's see what this is all about. All right. You have talents within that have been developed through many varied life experiences. You have had many lifetimes already, even if you don't recall them consciously, helping you evolve and grow into the loving being that you are today. Your desire to grow in consciousness and spiritual power to assist the divine plan is unfolding throughout the universe. Okay. Your soul has a history of lifetimes through which it has learned to be wise and develop certain talents. Hence, this is why I talk about karmic energy. Sometimes it's past energy. Okay. Past life energy. This Oracle comes to you when a power you've developed in a past life would be useful to access in your current life. What is that? That seems to be bravery. You are learning to be brave because you're, you know, that from even past life experiences, your spirit knows that there is nothing to fear because your spirit has been here multiple times. Okay. So the ability that surfaces from the depths of your soul will be whatever it is of greatest benefit to you. Now, sometimes the treasure is emerging from the depths of your being into consciousness. Perhaps your gift was challenging to a community in the past life. Whereas now you're being readily accepted because the community has mastered spirituality over time. Perhaps you have matured and now valued your gift. Be open to divine guidance. The gift you are reviving is worthwhile as you cleanse your memories and beliefs or programs that once caused you to protect yourself and your decisions by hiding this talent of bravery. You will grow strong enough to process the pain and stand in the truth of your gifts. If you are now considering a new line of work, exactly what I was saying, you like to explore or express different talents or the urge to develop the inner or the urge to develop an interest and transform it into a vacation, you are very likely already feeling the stirrings of the past life. So what they're saying spiritually is what you're going through is your spirit has been here. Your spirit is equipped with manifestation 
powers to manifest what you desire and also bravery for you to manifest what it is that you desire. So basically you're starting to activate this gift and all of the things that you've been through is helping you activate it, which is why we don't learn strength until we've been tested. We don't learn our power until we've went through our pain, right? We have to go through these things. And so what you're going through is to find yourself and how to do that is giving you the ability of being brave and also courageous, but more so a manifester to be able to obtain these things. So overall in your career, your love and spirituality, you are being activated. It is activating love. It is activating you to learn how to love. It is activating you to learn how to be certain in what you stand in, even in your relationships and career and asking yourself, is this what is bringing me euphoria in this experience on earth? And if it's not, then you're being activated with the bravery to go towards what is. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this was a heavy reading, obviously. And I'm happy to be able to assist you and guide you on your spiritual path. So please feel free to leave comments down below so I can get some encouraging words back to you guys. In the meantime, I'm gonna move on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and why you are going through what you're going through. Such a generic question, but it has so much of a deeper meaning. And that's what we're gonna be focusing on. All right, first let's start off with the tarot. Five of Swords, Defeat. Ten of Cups, Fulfillment. Nine of Cups, Satisfaction and Contentment. And the Sun card for Clarity. Okay, this is beautiful energy. Anyone who reads tarot can know that the Sun, the Ten and the Nine of Cups, and the Defeat card in the reverse, you are going through all of this so that you can see just how powerful you really are, just to see how much authority you actually have over obtaining happiness in this lifetime, right? Whereas some people feel like happiness is a choice, you have the ability to create and manifest happiness wherever you're at. In fact, if you were able to find just a spark of happiness in this time of the spiritual awakening with what's going on in the world, this tells me that you are being activated to use this manifestation to bring more happiness, not just to you, but also to the people around you. So this is all happening because of your breakthrough to the sun, which is happiness, clarity, and satisfaction. A lot of you have been going through a lot and just when you feel like you've been defeated is when everything is going to turn around. Take the lead, a lot of you have learned to stop allowing other people to be the pilot of your plane, meaning the one in charge of your destiny. Some of you are starting to become the own, your own pilot of your plane by simply taking the lead, being assertive, and having confidence that you can obtain these things that even people said was so hard to reach. And this is just a higher level of euphoria and experience on earth sadness and isolation this is all the past energy even if you're in this current energy now we're going to talk about this all of this was for you to what open up your third eye trust is that the second time we have trust yeah trust is a big deal you're learning how to trust the universe you're learning how to trust higher self you're learning how to trust yourself with making decisions better decisions in fact if you're questioning your ability to make better decisions now it is only because you are still focusing on your failures from the past. The decisions that you made in the past, you're a completely different person now today. You are not going to make the same exact decisions. So for those of you who are struggling with regretting things in the past, you can be free to actually just release that because we are only living in the present moment. So just because you didn't make good decisions in the past doesn't mean that you're not equipped to make great decisions now opening up and trusting you have learned how to build a solid defensive mechanism with not being able to trust people it has gotten you very far because you have learned to seek on your own you've learned to be your own light in the dark you have learned to do all of this you have been through so much my god like it's a lot that you've been through but the reason why is for you to Stop wrestling with yourself and your higher self. The more you wrestle with 
universe, God, whatever you choose to call your belief system, the more you prolong your process of growth, of actually obtaining happiness, because a lot of you have taken the lead and it has done well for you, but it also has singled you out from being able to be comfortable with asking for help or guidance or clarity. And that is what you would do in everything if you do it in one thing. Meaning, if I have a problem asking people for help or if you have a problem asking for, for help, then imagine how many opportunities that you are sabotaging just because of not being able to feel like you can trust anyone will also fall into your relationship with higher self. The most important factor that you can have with you intuition is trust because intuition is not going to prove why you should do what you should do. It is just going to be a feeling that you have to follow an instinct. Okay. So if you're looking for proof and trusting, you are looking in the wrong places. Now this is affecting your relationships. This is affecting your career. And this is also affecting your spiritual growth. No one to take the lead, but also no one to follow. You're very wise. Now, how do you learn that is the third eye chakra. This is being able to see beyond this reality. Okay. You're able to see much further into things. Good discernment and good judgment is all that you need for you to make the right decisions so that you don't fall in situations where you feel like you're being taken advantage of because I'm feeling that also. Let's see what else is in love for you. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits when you forgive your parents or the people involved. So there's a lot of healing that needs to be done. It's really coming from the lack of loyalty. I'm feeling like you have been struggling with finding people that are truthful uh, and finding people who are truthful to you also, not just, and that's again, is exactly, you cannot expect to trust people that don't, that lie to themselves. Okay. So a lot of these people, a lot of the people in the family, whether it's your parents, whether it was someone in the past that has hurt you, all of these decisions in love is coming back to trusting yourself so that you can do what? Open yourself back up to love. It is not a one man show in love. Okay. So it's not, you just open up yourself one time and then it didn't work. So you let it go. That's not how love works. It is a constant opening up yourself to receive giving yourself to receive. That's the balance of, of the love and, and the trust that you're looking for. We also have wedding in reverse. Okay. Some of you have a little bit of a trouble with committing. Okay. It's not that you're not faithful. It's just that you have trouble committing because you don't trust people, meaning not just committing in relationships, but committing with depth because of your lack of trust. And so the trust is the biggest thing that's happening. And how do we establish more trust with our higher self? Well, tragedy occurs and things go on and our higher self has been there the entire time. And then you finally make it out and you're like, oh, okay, okay, okay. I should have just listened to my intuition. I should have just trusted more because obviously you have it under control, higher self. Okay. So more so get out of the way, getting out of your way so that you can obtain happiness and, and find what it is that you're looking for. Okay. All right, let's see what this card is about so that we can exactly eternal now. I love it. You are learning before I even get into this. Okay. You are learning how to live in the present moment. And that's what I said. All of the decisions that you've made in the past, they're done. There's nothing you can go through. There's nothing you can do again. Allow your past to be done and be excited about creating new moments and new memories, right? Your memories in the past should not be more exciting and happy than the memories that you could make in the present. Some of you are, are looking back a lot and it's not bringing fulfillment. Now, another reason why you're going through this, even with the open up, I told you guys are kind of close off. Yes, you're very strong. You're very independent and I agree. You don't need anybody. However, that word and that statement will also push people away. So just be open to receiving more messages from universe and higher self. Be open to new love. Be open to coming out of sadness and isolation because one can only be isolated for so long before they naturally gravitate toward human connection and interaction. All right, the eternal now 12. So if 12 comes up, 12, 12 comes up, 
these are going to be or 1221 comes up then this is going to be a significant sign to ask yourself am i living in the moment and why is it beneficial to live in the moment because that's the only moment that you're actually alive if i'm thinking about the past i am in my head if i'm thinking about the future i am still in my head i am only here in the present where i can create a new future for myself and i can live and feel in that moment only <laughs> in that moment only everything else becomes either imagination from future or history from past all right within you is great strength and courage however just because you can manage to keep going when you are drained or stressed it doesn't mean you have to do so this is exactly what i was saying you are encouraged by your higher guidance to request assistance it's okay to ask for help and i know you guys don't trust i know you're having a trust issue i know that but just be open to signs and guidance from your intuition your intuition does not want to betray you your intuition is always there whether you follow it or not okay understand that your higher self loves you universe loves you okay assistance in letting go of tension within your mind and body you will gain energy through this release and perhaps even see things in a new and more optimistic light shifting into a more present relaxed enjoyable state of being will help you overcome the past and successfully create your future dear one have your thoughts become trapped in the pain of the past? Have they been drifting toward possible futures? If too much of your energy is pulled away from the present, you diminish the power you have to create what your heart desires in the now. Creation doesn't happen in the past or the future. It happens here and now by the choices you make each moment. Even now in reading this message, you are choosing to be present, to bring your energy into eternal now, simulating the law of attraction into action. As you relax in this moment, trusting that the past is over and the future shall be truthfully wonderful, you can easily energize your dreams, visions, and heartfelt desires. The universe believes that you are deserving of a spiritual gift. That is manifestation. So, cool thing here before I wrap this up. You guys have so much damn happiness that is waiting for you. It is euphoric. The nine, the 10 in the sun card is and the defeat in reverse is beautiful energy. However, you will miss this opportunity if you're too busy focusing on the past or focusing on the future. This is still telling your higher self that your present moment in reality is not worthy of your presence and attention. That's why we say pay attention. It is costly. It costs us when we do not pay attention, when we do not live in the present moment. And so everything in your life that's happening, even if you've lost a job, even if you got a job decrease, even if you're struggling with finances or you're struggling in love to, to trust someone, to call in your soulmate, to want to be committed and married or can even visualize yourself doing it, you are still going through everything right now because you are learning how to open up and trust more. So a lot of the times our higher self will let us go through certain situations because we didn't trust our instincts. And most of the time we know the truth. We just have to learn how to follow it through acceptance of it, okay? And so everything that you're going through is to position you to manifest every single thing that you desire. And it is definitely possible to do this. You just have to trust. You have to trust and be willing to open up to your higher self, your intuition, your instincts, your heart. Even your heart can guide you to desires much more quicker than your mind can, is what I'm picking up. So try to see things from a higher perspective and be open and awakened to the possibility of manifesting right now and understanding that you can be happy right now. In fact, it is a quick shift to happiness. And that's what you're learning also is how to utilize these spiritual gifts that you have, such as shifting into affirmations, becoming happiness, and not just being happy. That's a deeper level. All right, let me just clarify really quickly. All right, deck number two, why are they going through everything that they're going through? Why is deck number two going through everything that they're going through? Already I'm seeing temperance at the bottom of the deck. That is Sagittarius energy. 
but it's also reconciliation of your truest self and authentic self. Sun card again. Guys, this is just beautiful. Okay, so we have the sun card again. Had to rearrange these. And that is experiencing happiness. Everything that's hurting now is for you to experience happiness. We also have the high priestess following your intuition. The high priestess relies what? Not on her eyes, which is why she has no eyes. She relies solely on her intuition to guide her. The five of cups, whether it's a breakup or walking away, there's a lot of uh, situations that have created emotional dissatisfaction in your life or feeling like things were not having breakthroughs. Um, a lot of loss, a lot of tragic, a lot of accidents, a lot of things that you've been through. Why is the Five of Cups here? All right, too many cards, one more time. Why is the Five of Cups here? Why is the Five of Cups here? This is also to break free Queen of Swords, you are learning to be more of an authority in your life, as I mentioned, being more of an advocate for yourself. Ten of Pentacles, this is also financial abundance, okay? You are being positioned to, a lot of you are being positioned towards self-sufficiency of having your own stream of income without dependency, okay? Depending on another company. We have a lot of Leo energy, a lot of fire energy here on the board as well. Um, that's Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have a newfound relationship that's trying to come through. Everything that you want is waiting for you to be open to receiving it. And so that's basically what the Spirit is saying is that you have to be in a position to trust so that you can be guided and led through your intuition towards fulfillment and happiness. So if you guys chose deck number two, I appreciate you for allowing me to guide you on your spiritual journey. Don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and why you are going through what you are going through. I'm going to start with the overall energy. We have the six of wands victory. We have the one of wands, which is the ace of wands, new energy, the four of pentacles, so we have a little bit of everything on the board. And then we also have abruption, the decadence. So a lot of you are going through tower moments right now. The tower moment is dealing with things karmically that you have not really taken the time to do. In fact, it's right here in your face. The four of pentacles, you're learning about not being afraid of not having money by hoarding it. There's some other things that are coming up too that I wanna just clarify for deck number three, clear the energy. The reason why I wanna clarify is because we have greed on the board. A lot of you are learning about abundance and how to attract abundance into your life. And we know that the more you give, the more you receive. So why is the four pinnacles here for why they're going through what they're going through? Yeah, it's more of staying to yourself due to trust issues. A lot of us are learning trust. With the spiritual awakening, we're learning how to trust ourselves more, our judgment, and our instincts more. Why is the Ace of Wands here? This is also for new energy to come in. A lot of you are here to experience new energy. That is something that is very, very important. In order for you to do that, endings must happen. In fact, you cannot have a new without the old. That would be a refurbished lifestyle. That's what they're saying. Like you cannot take something that was old and, and create new. It is just a refurbished version. And so spirit is trying to get you to a place of creating a new life for yourself. It's more of birthing a new life into existence. But some of you are afraid you're mentally being challenged specifically. So the reason why you're going through this is to create a new reality for yourself to release all of the things that you thought were valuable to you a lot of you are holding on to things that you think are valuable but spirit is like look i have more for you that's much more valuable than you feel that you would be able to receive okay so you're being challenged mentally there's a lot of air energy on the board in fact all of these are sword cards this is mental conflict this is also trust people have betrayed you things have happened you don't know what to believe sometimes and that's what you're learning too, is to turn to your intuition. A lot of the things that you're experiencing are for you to have a spiritual awakening. 
The only spiritual card that we have, the only major arcana card that we have is the 16 abruption card. So let's see what this is about. Perfect. We have Aries energy. We have the magician and we also have the page. Some of you are starting all over. Now I mentioned this earlier, but for some reason, this is a little bit different. What is the point of this? Okay, let's see, new energy, okay. So some of you are holding on to some things and some people, and you know, I've talked a lot about this, and the things that are no longer going to serve you must be released. The things that you are going through are for the purpose of joy and stability. A lot of you want to be stable, but you also have to realize that fulfillment is important. So it's like some of you find stability sometimes, but then it's just not bringing joy. And then some of you guys are super joyful, but it's not bringing stability. You're trying to get to a place of balance. And in order to do this, you must be open to new energy. That's why we even have the one here. The one is new vitality, new energy on top of the ace of wands, which is new energy. So a lot of this is just to clear the old energy, to get ready for the new energy. What's coming into your life is victory. So if you're worried that you're not going to succeed, whether it be on your own independently or without this career that you've had for a long time or a career that you've just gotten, it is because you are being challenged to see the victory even when it looks like it will not be victorious. And this is also wakening you up to your third eye, challenging times. So it's like the things that you're experiencing now are, were some of them are because you didn't follow your instincts or intuition entirely. And so what spirit is again, trying to get you to come out of is this adversity energy. It's more of like a battle with yourself, fighting with yourself. That's kind of what it is. In fact, I don't see any other enemies as much as I do your own mind that kind of sometimes tricks you, refusing to see. And that's why it's important to close your eyes sometimes, even when we meditate, because our eyes can deceive us. We can see things with these physical eyes, but seeing spiritually is completely different. In fact, you don't need your eyes to feel energy. You don't need your eyes to see certain situations that you know are not good for you. And that's what you're being ignited to trust. So when you have refusing to see, it's like, you had to awaken to all of the things that you kind of been avoiding. And the reason why I'm saying this to you guys and speaking the truth is because I feel like it will set you free and you know how I feel about freedom. And there's a lot of happiness, there's a lot of victory and a lot of new energy if you were just open enough to see. Not with your eyes, but with your, with your third eye. Now in love, let's see what this is about. All of these are in the reverse. We have soulmate, we have honeymoon, and we have passion. A lot of you are also learning, a lot of you are also learning not to chase what you want. Even love, love is within you. You're learning not to chase that, and you're also learning just how to shift your perspective. And how do you do that? Sometimes you have to close your eyes and you have to just ask yourself, is this true? Am I supposed to be here? Does this job make me feel fulfilled? Is this going to be something that I want to do for the rest of my life? In fact, if you didn't have this tower moment of abruption, some of you would just stay on this loop. And so the events and circumstances that have taken place in your life are to benefit you to being able to get out of there because your higher self is trying to guide you towards what your spirit truly wants. And what your spirit wants is not going to be what you're thinking because a lot of you are learning heart over mind. Okay. A lot of the decisions you made were very logical. You are smart. You are brilliant, but sometimes your mind kind of, if you ever see someone tie their shoes and they trip, over it, that's kind of what your mind does sometimes is it tie, gets you tied up in these knots, overthinking, overanalyzing, or questioning what it is that you desire. But really what they're asking you to do is to get in tune and with the truth and ask yourself if this is what you really want. Why else are they going through what they're going through? 
a lot of the things you guys are afraid to lose. There's a lot of fear of losing things. So you're going through this to learn how to, yeah, get out of defensive mode. There's a lot of just hurt. There's a lot of things you've experienced and been through, which I can totally understand why you would be in this energy because of the challenging times that you've experienced. But you're learning how to shift the way that you see things and not to follow other people also is what's coming up. Page of Cups. In love, there is a soulmate for you that is waiting. But it requires you to elevate just a little bit more spiritually. Remember that your soulmate is going to be a mate to your soul. So if you're not in tune with your soul, it'd be very hard for you to call in your soulmate. It'd be very hard to even express yourself because of the armor that you have on, because of the things that you've been through. It's almost like there needs to be a release, a releasing of karmic energy. And the best way to do that is to shift your perspective and also having gratitude. You're learning to have gratitude. You're learning how to shift your mind. And, and in fact, what's being what's happening in your life is the veil is being removed. And you're starting to just see things more clearly. And I've been talking about this a lot. This is a spiritual awakening. Let's see what your, what your card is. Paradigm shift. All right, number four is a big deal for you. Um, you're learning, to, the paradigm shift is learning how to shift your mind when it comes to money. Some of you are, are afraid of not having enough money. Some of you are afraid of not being able to survive. But then some of you are also hoarding money or you're afraid to spend money. So you're learning to shift your perspective in love, spiritual growth, and also abundance. All right, let's see what the four is about. You are undergoing radical growth in your belief systems. Yes, now is the time to challenge old attitudes and question previous expectations. Yes, because this new world you cannot use the same old perspective for this new world. You have to shift. That's also the age of Aquarius. You literally have to shift. Older, uh, much older people are also learning you have to shift with the younger generation and being what? More innovative, uh, using technology. So we're always, always having to shift because everything is always growing. Everything is forever changing. And so there's an, a very important shift that's happening in your life. And the only way that you're really going to be able to overcome and go through this successfully is if you change your perspective by being open. Okay. So it says great leaps of faith forward can be made in a moment. The world you thought you knew can suddenly break open and a new world can become your reality. So that's what's happening. You cannot take your old perspective to a new reality. And that's also why you're experiencing the tower moment with the abruption, the decadence. Okay. And then also just dealing with death in general endings. Okay. So the Buddhists sometimes speak of beginner's mind, which assumes that nothing therefore is open to everything. I love that perspective. Just be open to everything and do not confirm. I always say, be very open to consider, but slow to confirm. There needs to be a sense of growth. It can be uncomfortable to learn new things, to see things differently when you've seen them the same way for most of your life. That's why a lot of this is challenging you mentally, okay? Old souls can sometimes find it hard to recapture their not knowingness. Asking someone with a lot of life experience who may have become a bit world weary to drop expectations and to look at the world through a fresh eyes can be challenging. That's exactly what I just said. Yet life becomes much more energizing and interesting when you are open. I always say that. Never stop asking questions. Never stop being curious about life. Okay? Now, suddenly you are going to be much more receptive to the universe helping you in ways that in the past you did not believe are possible. All because you kept an open mind. So that is absolutely what the third eye is going to do for you is having an open mind to allowing new energy to come in so that you can have this victory and manifest the life that you truly, truly did desire that is bringing you joy and stability. Okay. Last but not least, if you are feeling that you don't really know yourself, your relationships or the place in the world that you once did, if you are feeling that what you once held to be certain now seems to be a little shaky. These are signs that you are going through a paradigm shift. This will bring you to new perspectives that will free you to be in a world in new ways. 
You will find yourself shedding old, limited beliefs, fears, doubts, and misconceptions. You are stepping beyond what you know. What does that mean? It's going to require a lot of faith. It's going to require a lot of trust. It's going to require an openness. I always say if you grow up in one house your entire life, you're going to think that's the best, biggest house that you've ever seen, which is why it's important to travel, to explore. This world is very big. And so to stay in one place, that's why some of you guys need to make a drastic decision to introduce new energy so that you can kind of pick up where you left off, but it's almost like living in an entirely new world. Things look completely different. And so it's going to take some, some letting go, some sacrificing and releasing for you to come into this amazing energy of joy and stability and fulfillment. And the biggest thing that I can tell you with what you're going with, with what's going on in your life is to get out of your head. There's a quote that says you stay in your head, you're dead. It's just the mind can only grasp what it's known, which is why you don't know much about things that you've never done before, because the mind has to be programmed. It is like a USB that is our subconscious it just picks up and stores information. So meditate three times, 10 seconds a day will get you back to a space of connecting with your spirit. Remember your spirit consists of freedom of peace. Your spirit is not fearful of being hurt or harmed. That is where you are desiring to be. So if you chose deck number three, this is your reading and why you're going through what you're going through. I hope I was able to give you some clarity. Don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement back to you because I know this journey is going to be very challenging. If you have not started it, you probably have, but if you have not, it is something to definitely buckle up for and just trust that the universe is guiding you throughout any storm and any disaster. Until next time, I'm out. Love and light to you guys. I will see you soon.